In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about making an armature for an Ollie Brihe. So first you'll need some newspaper, masking tape, you might need some wire and a pair of pliers, and an idea. <laughs> um, an armature is kind of like a skeleton. It's what's the inside of a sculpture that holds it together. So in this case, I'm making a praying mantis rabbit billy goat creature. And we're going to get started by tearing off some strips of tape ahead of time to make life a little easier. And then unfold your newspaper to get started and crumple it up tightly. Um, usually it helps to crumple up a few sheets, that way you have stuff to work with right away. Um, unfold the paper and wrap it around, keeping it crumpled. Um, by wrapping the paper around the crumpled paper, it kind of cleans up the form and then makes it easier to tape down. So by wrapping it, but also keeping it crumpled up, it's easier to tape so stuff stays down better. Um, so you see I have sort of just a lump right now, but to start creating the shape, I'm going to start adding on more crumpled paper to areas that I need it to get larger or change the shape of. Um, so what you need to do is leave a little extra paper at the bottom of what you're adding on to make it easier to tape onto. And keep in mind that your tape should always have a job. So if you're taping stuff on and the tape isn't actually doing anything, then I would rec I would probably say you're wasting it. So um, make sure that you're taping all the way across the form, making sure the tape is smoothing out the form and also holding down whatever you're taping on. So I've made kind of like the body and the tail. Now I'm starting to build upwards like the torso area. Um, so I'm adding on another shape onto the top of it and just securing it with a couple pieces of tape going across. Um, I'll slowly start to shape the form by adding on more paper and by how I tape it on. Um, and it's always good to keep those extra tape snippets on the bottom to make it easier to work with. Um, now I'm starting to build the neck and um, usually what I do is crumple up the paper and then kind of roll it tightly. Um, the crumples give it more of a natural shape and makes it make it more sturdy. Uh, you can form things to points so here I'm doing the tail pointing it by rolling it more tightly, using the tape to shape it. Um, and then back to the neck, I'm crumpling, I'm rolling, and adding on this sort of tall shape here. Using the tape to shape it and attach it. You want to make sure that your newspaper is crumpled tightly. If it's too squishy, it's not going to hold weight. So if you wanted to add a head or anything, it might fall over if it's not tight enough. Um, as you can see, I'm using the tape to smooth the form. And then I'm rolling up the newspaper, but it's also being crumpled at the same time. And that gives it a sturdier shape and it's stronger that way. I'm adding more newspaper to make it to the desire, desired thickness. And then I'm leaving that paper at the bottom open so that it's a lot easier to attach. You can see how it has kind of just like an overlap around the piece that I'm attaching it to. That makes it easier to tape on, but it also makes it sturdier. Thank you. 
And so I did this with the neck, but I'm also going to do it with the head. I'm going to leave kind of a depression and in the head, kind of like a socket that the neck is going to fit into. Um, that, again, it makes it easier to tape. It makes it easier to um, attach. Um, and I'm always checking the shape and the form to make sure it's the right size and that it's going to fit so that I can add on or subtract as I need to um, so that everything fits well. So you can see that sort of like depression inside the head where I can fit the neck into. Um, that makes it so much easier to attach the head and it's less likely to fall off that way. I'm wrapping the tape around the head and the neck um, kind of from every angle, moving sort of vertically first, so up and down, and then I'm going to tape around the neck and then around the head so that it stays on. Sometimes I even move kind of diagonally with the tape um, just to make sure that it's thoroughly attached and the head isn't going to fall off or anything. So by making your armature really sturdy, it's going to be a lot easier when it gets to the paper mache part. We want to make sure we have a strong, sturdy base before we move on to the next steps. Now that I've attached the head, I'm going to add some styrofoam balls for eyes. And to make them sit better on the head, I'm going to hollow out some sockets for them. So I'm pressing in an indent and then using an X-Acto knife to cut into the form to kind of hollow them down. Um, now I'm adding some wire. I'm threading it through the head to stick into the styrofoam for just a little ad extra added support. Um, finding the right shape, pushing them in farther, and then just a little bit of hot glue to attach the eyes so that they don't fall out. Once we paper mache over that, you won't see any of the glue around the edges. Now we're moving on to building the legs. So an extremely important tip, when you, whenever you're making more than one of something of the same, um, you always want to make them both at the same time before attaching them. Uh, it's definitely no fun painstakingly making an arm or a leg, attaching them, and then making another one, only to find out that they're two different sizes. So um, what I'm doing right now, I'm making kind of like a turkey leg shape. So it's bigger at the top than the bottom, kind of like a bigger thigh. And then I'm leaving a flat side um, with extra paper for making it easier to attach. Um, then to make the foot, I'm adding on extra crumpled paper and like forming a bend right away. So kind of bending and twisting to make it stronger and sturdier. Um, so the bends and the twists happen first with the newspaper and then with the tape. So the way you tape it, kind of going across the form and pulling it with the tape also helps create the shape. I'm pressing in on the little foot to create sort of like those curved little toes like rabbits have and then taping it down to keep that shape. So now that I have the one leg I'm checking the size um, and then I'm going to start on the second leg and basically you just want to make sure that you're using the same amount of paper that you did on the first leg so it'll help keep it the same size. So I used about three sheets of newspaper for the leg. Um, and I'm making the same sort of turkey leg shape and I'm constantly checking the shape that I'm making now with the shape that I've already made. So I'm constantly making sure it's the same size, the same sort of angles, and obviously you want to make sure that it's going to attach to the other side of the body, not the same side that you just made. That's definitely something you don't want to accidentally end up doing is making the same leg twice. So be checking periodically to make sure the legs are the right size, the right shape, and that they're going to fit well on your creature. So just hold them up. Then when it comes to attaching, um, you want to attach from all angles. So I'm moving across the leg and onto the body. Um, and then I'm taking that tape and attaching the tape that went across onto the body and then taping it 
onto the leg. So moving across the form and then over the form, taping it from all of the angles to make sure it's secure. So I'm moving up over the form and then across the form. And always remember to get underneath the legs and on the inside joints so that you have a really sturdy connection because you don't want your legs to fall off. They're kind of important. And definitely be checking to make sure your legs are in the right spot as you're taping them. Um, do a couple like small pieces of tape first before you attach just to make sure they're in the right spot that way they're more easily moved than all the way through so now I'm starting on the arms and they're very thin and kind of spindly so I'm going to use some wire um, really you only need to use wire for thin delicate types of objects um, thicker things if you make it well with newspaper first you don't really need the wire at all um, again just like with the legs you want to make both of them before attaching them and what I'm doing is I'm kind of using the wire I'm bending it to make an outline of the shape that I want um, in this case praying mantis arms and I'm using the pliers to kind of squeeze the wire together to make a point and just kind of slowly shaping it into the form that I want And when you're using the wire, you want to, again, make both at the same time. Make sure you're using the same amount of wire. So as you can see, I was kind of like bending the form right on top of the first one so that I know I'm using the same amount of wire. And I'm going to just keep checking by setting the wire on top of the first piece to make sure it's the same shape and the same size. Um, I'm using a little bit of tape just to attach wire to other pieces of wire. Um, just to keep it from moving around too much. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of crumple up a sheet of newspaper and tear it into smaller strips. I'm going to wrap those small strips tightly around the wire and then um, once it's wrapped in there I'm going to tape it really tightly as well. Um, and that kind of just gives the wire a little more volume, so it makes it much easier to paper mache. Um, I'm just going to keep adding on newspaper and tape to get to the thickness that I want. Um, these are actually kind of flat, so I squished the newspaper and the tape to flatten them out to make more of like a praying mantis type shape so it's not really rounded and checking on the on the creature itself to make sure that everything's the right size or right shape and I'm just gonna keep wrapping the newspaper around and taping to get to the form that I want so I wrapped even more tightly around this part because I want it thinner and then for really thin areas, you can see I am just taping straight over the wire, so I'm not adding any newspaper, it's just tape. And then um, once it's all taped down, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and just kind of cut out around the wire areas to give that sort of scalloped edge. So this is a good idea like for wings or other really thin sort of detailed areas that involve wire. It just kind of fills in the area better. So now that I have one arm completed, I'm going to do the same thing on the other arm. Um, again, making sure I'm paying attention to how much newspaper I'm using for each section. 
trying to do it in the same way that I did the first one. So it's always really important to be aware of what you're doing. Um, you know, how much newspaper am I using? What sort of technique did I use? How did I wrap it? So be cognizant of these sort of techniques that you do as you're working so that your stuff looks the same from one to the next. Now when I'm attaching the arms, I want to make sure that they're going to be in the same spot and in the places where I want before I fully attach them. So I'm just going to use like one piece of tape to hold it in place, put the other one on, you just use one piece of tape. You can see there's that little bit of extra newspaper I left off the edges that makes it so much easier to attach because you have that extra there. Um, once everything's where I want them, then I can start to tape them down more thoroughly. So going across the form and then around it to really hold the tape down. Um, then kind of moving at diagonals and all the way around the arms and it's going to give it a really sturdy connection by working all the way around it with tape. So we're almost done. Um, lastly, I'm going to make some little billy goat horns and those are going to just sit on the top of his head. So we can see that everything's really smooth all the way around the sculpture. Um, everything's placed where I want it. And now to make those horns, I'm going to crumple up some smaller strips of paper and kind of roll them into a cor uh, sort of a cone shape, um, twisting more tightly at the top than I am at the bottom, kind of folding over the newspaper at the bottom and leaving open space at the bottom so that I can have some attaching points. Um, when I tape it, I'm taping the top much more tightly than the bottom, kind of working in a diagonal sort of fashion with the tape so that it creates more of a cone shape. Um, also, I'm sort of twisting and bending a little bit so that they curve just a little bit as they work. And because, you know, I'm making two at the same time, um, make them both before you attach them so that you know they're the same size and roughly the same shape. And just like with arms and legs, when you attach them, attach them loosely first to make sure they're where you want them. Leave a little extra newspaper and tape all the way around the form. So up and down diagonally across the tape to make sure they're fully attached. And that leaves us with a completed armature. Stay tuned for paper mache.